their homework. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't do my homework. But I had a couple of things that came across me while I was uh, listening. Um, the first thing is, I, I'm not sure of the year, but in the U.S., corporations were granted uh, human attributes in the 1930s. If you'll remember what Rom Romney said, he said, um, corporations are people too. <laughs> if so, then corporations should be accountable just as we citizens are and not given any special considerations. Now, the other thing I kind of tripped down on a little bit, I traveled in the 60s, uh, <laughs> public land and development corporation. Public land slash development corporation, that's an oxymoron. It, it, they absolutely contradict each other. And the last thing I want to say is, remember the legend Robin Hood? He robbed, uh, he robbed the rich and gave to the poor. I got this today from someone here to me. What the true story was, was that Robin Hood took back what was stolen from the people and gave it back to them. We can't wait for a Robin Hood. We need to take it back now. I tell you. I Aloha, I'm Gaylin Kelly, and I uh, just want to give all respect and honor to everyone that came out tonight because it shows you care, and you're part of an awakening that's going on globally where people are saying, no more, we've had enough, we want our lives back, and it's really good to see everybody. Uh, okay, well, uh, I guess like um, a couple of other speakers have already said, we go through the protocol of this so much and, and we know it's the bureaucracy to appease the public and you know we hope that we might facilitate change. For me when I speak, uh, mostly it's for the individuals. So, so I reach out to you that are kind of pushing this agenda forward. And um, uh, just to back up for a minute, the enterprises that we are kind of in resistance to uh, like just for instance the geothermal uh, they say when you want to know what's behind something to ask that famous Latin phrase qui bono which uh, is who benefits who profits and another way of saying it is follow the money and you know when we look at the geothermal enterprise we see that it's an Israeli enterprise and that the money that should be coming here and uh, staying here locally to help the people on the island will be going to Israel and the interest there and if you study anything about current day geopolitics you know that Israel is very involved in the launching of many wars on the planet today a total waste of money um, and so um, let's see glasses would help. Uh, when you ask for exemptions, uh, it tr makes you, in our eyes, that you are acting as an elitist above us. And you set up a hierarchy that you want us to be subservient to. And as sovereign human beings, with, by the same creator that made you, we can't do that. We would be selling ourselves short to give you those exemptions because we're, you're not better than us. You're one of us. And um, there will be, uh, at some point, some kind of spiritual reckoning. And you will kind of be led to see that what you are serving is not really the Pono way to help the people. And so I encourage you to kind of stand with the people. Uh, and another reason for that is some of the indicators are that we're heading towards an economic collapse. The dollar is tanking. And if that does happen, you will need us like we need you right now. You need us and to, to get through the hard times. And um, 
I see that you come forth, but I'd rather meet who your handlers are, those that send you to face the people, those that are making the policies that you're serving that I see as thievery and thuggish, thuggish behavior. And, you know, in reaching out to you tonight, I hope that, you know, when you go to sleep tonight, that you might think about what you heard here, and maybe you'll wake up and say, oh my God, I've been serving the wrong side. <laughs> and I really want to be with the people. And I say it with all my heart, that we'll be here for you if you, if you want to make a change. And by doing the right thing, you'll be taken care of. Um, because the, that which you serve is not serving humanity. And let's see, is that the last of it? I don't want to leave anything out. I think that's it. God bless you. at the beginning, but you completely forget about the respect to come out here. You know, I also wonder uh, why Malama Solomon isn't here, but <laughs> this is her district, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Faye, for I, I, I did recently realize that you did put in a bill to repeal this Act 55. Uh, <laughs> this is wrong. This is completely wrong all the way around, and I feel like the key word is respect, and I'm not seeing it. I'm, over, I'm sitting here in the back watching the body language, and it's really kind of, <laughs> it's laughable, really. Um, Public Land Development Corporation, that is an oxymoron. Public Land Development Corporation. Oh, does that mean you're going to go in and set up some campgrounds and stuff, and get people up there and using the land and all this stuff? Well. I'm sure that's probably not the case. <laughs> um, we're, man, I think this is a call to action. I think this is something that everybody needs to realize. You know, we all need to wake up and rise against this. You know, this is not something to ignore. This is not something to ignore. We cannot continue as a human society ignoring these things or we're going to be stepped all over. All right, thank you. <laughs> Aloha, my name is E.K. Payne, it's not Ike. <laughs> All right. The first thing I'd like to say is that, you know, it's kind of crazy because how stupid do you think the people of Hawaii are that we are going to take this dog and pony show and just be happy with it? Because that's all it is. You've already made up your mind. You've already decided. This is just coming out hoping to get some support where you're not going to get any. I can guarantee you go on every single island, there's going to be nobody that gives you support. Because you've got none of it here. And every single bit of it is Agenda 21. And you all know it. All the way from the top to the bottom. And think about it. Where, in what universe, do we need a corporation to handle the land for the people? What is the public land? I think you guys really need to really think about what you're doing and who you're approaching. Because we are all warriors. We are not going to sit idly by and let this happen. You want to start something? You're starting it now.
Hello everybody. Oh, it's so good to see the big island Ohana. And I'm, I'm so proud of everyone and, and really looking forward to, to uh, next steps because many of us uh, have been watching this for years and we've been kind of expecting this and you know, uh, and we do reach out, sir, to both of you because we know, uh, you know, other people who make craft the policy, they send you, but you still should go home and pray about this and, you know, hold Pono Pono with us here because we're real people, we're loving Ohana. And one of the things that somebody said was that we've seen this time and time again, how the government will make decisions and plans behind closed doors and then they'll have a dog and pony show and pretend that we care about the people and okay we've seen it again and again the other thing we've seen again and again is that we haven't really changed the way we work with each other to reclaim our destiny and I, I think this is a great opportunity again in the final hour that we can look outside of our important kuleana that we do and we start to really reach out and think outside of the box that uh, we've crafted um, because it really will require something revolutionary and evolutionary and aloha to the highest limit. So I have a warning that the true republic of the United States of America as well as its occupied territories which include Hawaii, Guam, Puerto Rico, American Samoa, etc has already been destroyed from within. Your boss and those people, they're working for an entity that already has been constitutionally destroyed. It is now, America and the world, is now under the control of the international bankers and their friends. Same as it ever was, in 1871, the establishment of the District of Columbia creates a U.S. corporation. So all of these courts that you guys want to go to are actually employees of the U.S. corporation, not the Constitutional Republic. And I'm learning about this. The other thing I learned about, because I took the red pill, is in 1913 the Federal Reserve is actually a privately controlled central bank. So the whole gig is rigged. So, you know, we got each other, let's learn from each other, and let's move on. The de facto puppet government, which rules over Hawaii, has been usurped by foreign entities and organizations who hold the truth and the rule of U.S. constitutional and Hawaiian Kingdom law in total disdain. The effects of that ongoing heba treason is hitting the ground in communities.